Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today we are going to be using the fabulous new Crafter Flower Hibiscus to create this beautiful design that we have here. So like I said I am going to be using the Crafter Flower Hibiscus and I have all of the dies here which are going to cut out those blooms as well as the leaves. So for the blooms to start with I'm going to cut out three of them. So I'm going to cut out two of these and then one of the other one and I'm just using some of the rouge cardstock from Alta New. Now we are going to be doing a lot of ink blending onto this so this is just going to be the base so if you have another pink that would work just as well too. So this is kind of like a peachy uh, kind of blush color. I'm then going to cut out the stamen and I'm going to be using some of the buttercream and also the warm sunshine. Again, we are going to be doing a little bit of ink blending onto these. So if you wanted to cut these out of white, you could do that as well and create your own colored cardstock. For the leaves, I am going to cut them out of the Firefly cardstock that we have. And I cut a lot of these. And I didn't actually use the stems as a stem. I did cut those leaves singularly later on. So like I said, I am going to be ink blending onto these. So for all of the petals, I am going to do them in the same way. I'm going to start off with some of the mid yellow and I'm going to add that from the base of the petals and I'm going to bring that towards the center. I'm then going to use some of this tickled pink. I love this pink. It is very kind of neon looking and I think it is fabulous and it looks great on this rouge cardstock as well. So I'm gonna add that to the tip of the petal. Again, bringing this down, but I'm not covering all of that cardstock. So we, are, we do still have that base of that rouge there. There's just not gonna be a whole lot of it. So I just wanted to make sure that there was gonna be no white on these. So that's why I've gone for that rouge base there. And I didn't need to worry about the kind of inks that I was blending together to create a muddy color in the center. So that's why I have the base of the cardstock. So once I have done that, I'm also gonna grab some of the Cherry Sweet. And for this one, I'm just gonna add this right at the tip, just to add a really beautiful kind of really dark tip to all of these petals. Once I've done that, I then went ahead and I kind of added some more of that tickled pink to blend that Cherry Sweet in a little bit more. I then wanted a darker base to my flower, so I'm going to grab some of that Tangerine Dream and I'm going to add that right at the base. I didn't add that as far as I added the yellow. Um, and if you wanted to, you could get the yellow again and kind of bring that in. So I'm just going to do another petal so you can see just how I did that again. So again, we're going to grab that mid yellow. We're going to bring that towards the center of those petals. I'm then going to use some of the Tangerine Dream to add in a darker point to the base of the petals. Next up, we're going to go in with that pink. So this is the tickled pink, very vibrant neon color that we have here. And it does blend beautifully. As you can see, I'm using my sticky mat to blend onto. It means that I don't get such inky fingers trying to keep these dies, die cuts down as they do stick to that sticky mat. Once we've finished with the tickled pink, I'm then going to grab some of that cherry sweet right on the edge of that petal. And these just look stunning. They look so, so tropical. And I was so excited to kind of get these together and create the full flower to see what they were going to look like once I had finished them all. So I'm just going to do all of them in the same technique to create all of those petals. For the stamens, again, I'm going to be using my um, sticky mat and I'm going to pop my stamens into position. I'm going to use some of that mid yellow to add a darker point to the base of those stamens. So as you can see, I'm using a small mini blending tool, sorry, to add that there. I then wanted to add a darker point to the very base of these. So I am going to grab a different ink and I'm going to be grabbing the lemonade party. And I'm going to use this kind of mustard yellow to add a really deep dark point right at the base of these fabulous stamens that we have here. So once that's done, I did use a little bit more of the mid yellow to blend that out and just add a tiny touch right to the top of the stamen as well, just to add a little bit of difference to that. 
So once I'm happy with the amount of ink and shading that we have on there, I'm just gonna move those ones over to the side. And I'm then gonna grab the kind of other parts of the stamen. So these are the bits that are gonna adhere onto the top of them to create more of a fluffy look to the stamen. This is where the pollen is kept, I believe. So I'm just gonna pop those onto my sticky mat. As you can see, I do have four of these, but we are only gonna need three, so you can use one of these for a future project. I'm gonna use some of the Lemonade Party to add a darker touch to the base of these little stamen pieces. And then once that's done, I'm gonna add some of the Tangerine right at the bottom, just to add that darker, kind of more interest there. Once that's done, I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more, again, using some of that Lemonade Stand and a mini blending tool. I'm then gonna do one of the leaves and I am gonna do all of the leaves in the same way. So I'm gonna grab some pool cardstock and I'm gonna add that round about the center and more at the base. As you can see, I am leaving the tip of the leaf to have that firefly color on the edge. I'm then gonna grab some of the navy as I wanted a darker point on here. You could definitely use a darker green, but I do find that using that navy does add a little bit more, I don't know, je ne sais quoi. I don't know what it is, but it does add a lot of kind of mystery to that leaf, I would say. And then once that's done, I then wanted to add some green. So I am gonna go in with the lettuce to celebrate and I'm bringing that halfway between the pool and also the navy that we have on there. If you do need to blend that out, I would just suggest to use the pool just to blend that out there. And I did do all the leaves in the same way. So once everything has been ink blended, I'm then gonna kind of shape them to add a little bit more interest and detail to these. For the leaves, I am curving these upwards. And as you can see, I do have all of those leaves still stuck together at the minute, but I am kind of poking them around forwards and adding a little bit of a bend along the little embossed lines that we have on there. But for the petals, I'm bending these backwards. So we're gonna have a different look with the kind of shaping that we're doing for both the leaves and also the flowers. Once everything has been shaped, I'm then gonna stick these together. Now you will stick these together just using the kind of cutouts, the keyhole system that we have on the flower die cuts and you're just gonna line these up with each other. You're not gonna need to worry about where things lay. It's just very easy to line up those die cut pieces. Um, in the keyhole system to create the flower. I am using some foam tape to kind of pop things up really, I don't know, a bit more dimension. You could definitely use um, flat glue, wet glue, whichever glue that you have, depending on the look that you wanna create. And it will still look fabulous. Even if you do just use um, flat glue, and also curl the petals, you are still gonna get a lot of dimension. You don't necessarily need to add as much foam tape as I'm adding here. So as you can see, I've added one and two together. I've then taken three, which was the stamen piece, and I've added that into place. Then I've gone with number four, added that bottom piece to the flower, so you can see where it's gonna attach to a bud maybe. And then I'm gonna add on the other little petals as well. I just love watching these kind of appear and bloom out of nowhere. These are so fabulous, so easy to do. If you love die cutting and you love florals, I imagine you are gonna love this set as well. So as you can see, I'm just adding tiny touches of the foam tape just to the places that will pop on top of the image below. I would always recommend to add your adhesive onto the piece that you're trying to stick down rather than the stick the adhesive down first and then and try and cover that over. It can be a little bit more challenging that way. But here we go, we have that flower nearly complete. All we need to do is add the kind of second piece of that stamen on and I'm just going to use some wet glue just onto that and then pop that into place onto the stamen. And I just think that this flower looks fabulous. I love the tropical colors on here. You could definitely kind of just do this with one color and it just add a touch to the center if you wanted to, but I love how this turned out. I love hibiscus, they're one of my favorite flowers and I am ready for some tropical vibes uh, right now, especially with all the wind that's going on about outside. 
So once I've finished the flowers, I am going to move on to the background piece and I have the fabulous Zero Waste Hearts of Plenty die here and I'm just going to cut this from some navy cardstock. The panel that I have is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just popping that to place onto the die and I'm just going to use some of the satin card, um, satin masking tape from Alta New, sorry, and I'm just going to use that to keep that in place. Once that's done, I'm just gonna run that through my die cutting machine to create my fabulous background. So as you can see, that's been run through the machine now. And we also have a lot of little hearts that can be used with that as well. So I have a card base here, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just gonna add some ultra sticky tape onto that, onto the front all over. And then I'm just gonna add another panel of the navy cardstock, again, four and a quarter by five and a half, just on to that adhesive. I'm then gonna remove the die from the die cut. And as you can see, we're gonna have all of these little hearts that you can definitely use on future projects. You can use them for embellishment. You can use them for shaker elements. You could use them for confetti if you wanted to as well. Um, and it's very, very cute. So we have lots of these little hearts and we also have the fabulous background piece as well, which does have some stitched detailing in. I'm then taking some of the Instant Dimension foam tape from Altenew and I've cut that into small strips and just placed that in between the little hearts that we have on the back to create a fabulous background there. And you can see that you can see the shadow of those hearts onto the background. Once that's done, we can then play around with how we want these flowers to be on the front of the card base. So I'm just adding some foam tape to them and I'm gonna pop one of them right in the bottom left hand corner. So once I have that in place, I can then figure out where I want everything else to go. So I'm gonna have two of the flowers coming from the top and then one from the bottom. I do find that this adds a beautiful flow to your kind of handmade card if you do it this way. And again, I'm just adding some foam tape there. On some of them, I did have to add a double layer to the petal but if it was further up than the petal that I wanted it attached down first. So I am using a kind of mix of one layer foam tape and also two layer foam tape to those flowers. I'm then gonna cut and snip the little leaves. You could definitely keep them together if you wanted to. I just found that I had more control of the placement of the leaves if I did snip away at these. I'm just adhering them behind the flowers. And again, I'm using some foam tape to add them into place. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to add more kind of depth to this, you could definitely stick those leaves down with some flat glue and that would give you even more depth and dimension to this project. As you can see, I'm just gonna keep going, adding in those leaves until I'm happy with the arrangement that I have. Once I had added these leaves, I did feel I could have taken that navy on the leaf a little bit higher up to give more drama to those leaves. To add a little bit more of an artsy look to this, I am gonna add some splatter, but I'm gonna do it in two different colors. So first off, I have some of the pure white ink spray and I'm just adding that, just flicking that on, just using the kind of little dropper or spray that we have within the tool. I then wanted to add some gold. So I have the metallic watercolors from Altenew and I'm just gonna spritz some water into there. I'm then gonna take a paintbrush, swirl it around that kind of watery paint and then I'm gonna use that to flick on top of the flowers. I'm trying to concentrate on the flowers and then whatever goes onto the background, that's gonna be an added bonus. Once I finish with the splat, I'm just gonna move that over to the side and wait till it is nice and dry. I'm then gonna move on to the sentiment. So I have a piece of gold mirror cardstock and I'm gonna create this into having some adhesive on the back. So I have some of the double-sided adhesive from Alta New and I'm just gonna pop that on the back and I'm then gonna snip away the excess. Remember to keep your excess. You don't wanna um, kind of throw this away. Any small pieces are gonna be good for something later on. So I have my gold piece there. I also have a piece of navy. So it's the same navy cardstock as we've used for the background, but I just had a piece 
in my little scrap drawer what I thought that I would use. So I've again used some of that adhesive just to add that on the back there. So once I have my double sided cardstock ready, we're then ready to start die cutting the sentiment. I'm using the Hello and also the Shadow die of the Hello from the Craft of Flower Hibiscus and I'm just popping them into each other to create this kind of outside piece of the sentiment and this does have the adhesive on the back so we're creating like kind of a cardstock sticker for this uh, later on along the line. So I've just ran that through on my mini blossom machine and everything is cut perfectly. All I'm gonna need from this at the minute is just that outside piece so I can cut that again just out of the gold mirror. So again, like I said, I'm gonna cut that out of the gold mirror. I didn't want any adhesive behind there but I can show you how to get ri rid of that later on. And then I'm also gonna take the friend from the Craft of Flower Hibiscus too and then pop that in place. As you can see, I'm using my metal shim just to make sure that everything cuts perfectly first time. I'm just gonna run that through and then I have all of my sentiment pieces ready and raring to go. So I'm just gonna remove the little friend one, keep that in, and I'm also gonna take the shadow piece and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all of the letters from this piece here because I only want the outside pieces. So I can use those letters again somewhere else if I wanted to. Uh, can, I'm definitely gonna keep those for a future project. It's always good to have a little hello sentiment. And these are all freshly die cut with adhesive on the back of them. So I'm definitely gonna keep those for later on along the line. As you can see, I'm just using a little pin to remove all of those, just through the little holes that you can see in the die. Once that's done, I just have the outside piece of the navy cardstock and I'm just gonna place the gold piece that we have right on the back and then when I flip this over and remove the rest of the die, you're gonna be able to see that we have the gold peeking through the, black, the navy, which looks very, very cool. So once I have done that, I then decided I definitely needed to get rid of some of the overhanging pieces. And I just got rid of the ones that are at the bottom of the card. So this is still gonna be able to stand up, but we still have those pieces kind of poking over the edge. And I think that's gonna add a little something something to this as well. So once that has been done, I'm then gonna remove the friend piece of the sentiment and I'm gonna pop that down. We do have the adhesive right on there so we can stick this right into place and I'm tucking that behind the front flower just to add a little bit of interest there. So once that has been in place, I just have the little dot of the eye to go on. I'm just gonna place that on my finger and then use the pin just to gently kind of pop that and maneuver that into place and there's the friend piece done. As I said, I didn't want the adhesive on the back of here so I'm just gonna remove the adhesive and then I am gonna use some baby powder just to remove that stickiness there and that works really well to kind of make stickers not stickers anymore. So if you wanted to stick a sticker up but it was too sticky, get rid of the stick first and then you can pop some foam tape on to create a raised image there. So it's a great way to do that. Just gonna pop that into place. I did find out that that uh, little stamen was getting in the way of the hello sentiment. So I'm just gonna tuck, tuck that behind and then we are ready to go. So this is the card complete. And I just love how those flowers turned out. I love how tropical this looks, how everything's just kind of popping out as well. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I like the card as much as I do. If you do create a card that was inspired by this, it'd be great if you do share because we'd love to see. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye. Hey there, Lydia here. I really do hope that you've just enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to the Alter New YouTube channel. Also turn on the notification bell so you can get your daily dose of crafty techniques and tutorials just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.